You've been to McDonald's lately? Any fast food place? The student center? When's the last time you saw a real cash register? So you purchase something, and what does the clerk do? Punch a screen. And then tell you what the bill is, right? Do you think those clerks ever punch the wrong button? I think they do. But when you go to a fast food place like McDonald's, when that clerk punches that button, lots and lots of things are going on in the background. In the foreground, it's saying, Joe, another hamburger, which might already be in the queue. And so somebody stuffs some things in a bag and, and hands it to you real fast. But there's a database being maintained on the basis of these little screen punches. And that database is saying, how many hamburgers, how many french fries, how many this, how many that? And it's going in for inventory, for taxes, for reordering, et cetera, all on the basis of these clerks punching that screen. So at the corporate level, you have to get a good result from these screen punches, even though they're not 100% accurate. And that's the mathematics of what we're just talking about. I got to get a good coloring. When somebody is not behaving optimally, and when non-optimal might be just innocent mistakes, but it could be somebody really trying to sabotage things. So this is the notion of an adversarial algorithm. Interesting things. This discrete math world is full of neat stuff. All right, back to interval graphs.